Today we will look into the <coughs> transformations of the mechanical energy from one form to another through the oscillations of the mass on the spring. So there are three kinds of the uh, mechanical energy, the gravitational potential energy, MGH, kinetic energy, MV squared on 2, and strain potential energy of the spring equals kx squared over 2, where k is a spring constant and x is extension of the spring or contraction if it's compressed. First, let's recall Hooke's law. If we have a spring, This is its unstretched length. If we attach a mass and then slowly lower it, and mass is in the equilibrium, it's at rest, then the forces acting on this mass will be weight force or gravity mg, and up will be elastic force from the stretch spring. According to the Hooke's law, this force equals negative kx, where x is the change in the length of the spring. This is an extension. Minus means just a direction. Then when we stretch, then force will be in the opposite direction. We compress force again in the opposite direction. So when we look into the magnitude, an object is at rest, we can write that mg equals kx. We will be using this equation later on because force down exactly equal force up. So let's consider now the situation when we attach mass to the unstretched spring, but we don't lower it, gently lower it, we release it and it's false. When it falls, it will pass the equilibrium position and will start oscillate. Of course, we can see the ideal situation when there is a no loss of energy due to the friction in the spring, no loss of the energy due to the heat, and we will consider that the total mechanical energy, that, that is a sum of all three kinds of energy, is constant. So let's consider that we attached <coughs> mass of 0 0.1 kilogram and at this position uh, let's say spring is stretched by <coughs> 10 centimeters. First let's find the <coughs> spring constant. Using this formula we can write 0 0.1 times 9.8 equals k times 0.8. Don't forget that all calculations has to be in the meter, in meters. From here k will be equal 9.8 newtons per meter. So that is the spring constant. Now when we drop the spring, drop the mass, <coughs> it will pass the equilibrium position and it will start to oscillate between those positions oscillating up and down let's see what energy the system will have at each point. Let's name top point A, middle B, and the bottom C. At the point A, system has just a gravitational potential energy. And with gravitational potential energy, we always need to choose what will take zero from where we will measure H in the formula MGH. So let's take this level as zero. 
So we will have that initial total energy will be equal just gravitational potential energy mgh so it's equal 0 0.1 times 9.8 and the height is as this is 10 centimeters then this will be another 10 so total 20 centimeters times 0 0.2 so <coughs> will be equal uh, 0 0.1 9.6 joules uh, <coughs> no yeah 0 0.196 joules at the bottom again kinetic energy will be zero here kinetic energy is zero we just releasing it start with the zero velocity at the bottom its momentary stops because if its velocity will not be zero, it will continue to move down. So at the bottom, its energy just kinetic. So energy at C equals, sorry, just kinetic, just energy of the uh, stretch string. There is zero kinetic energy there. So we have K X squared on two. <coughs> And it has to be equal 0 0.196 joule. That we can check. Uh, K, uh, <coughs> we have found that was uh, <coughs> 9.8 times 0 0.2. Here, spring stretched 0 0.2. 0 0.2 squared divided by 2 and that will be 0 0.196 so as we can see gravitational potential energy only here only strain potential energy let's find what will be the speed of the mass in the middle point b At that point, system will have all three energies. So you'll have total energy equal mgh plus kx squared on 2, because spring is stretched there, plus mv squared on 2. We know total energy 0.196 equals 0 0.1 times 9.8 and the extension here in the middle is 0 0.1 so height above the ground is above the lowest point is 0 0.1 plus 0 uh, 9.8 times 0 0.1 squared divided by 2 plus 0 0.1 times v squared divided by 2. The only one unknown quantity here is speed. So we can find speed from there. I will leave the calculations for you. Let's sketch, <coughs> let's have a look on the graphs. The, the popular question how the each energy changes through the oscillation of the mass. Gravitational potential energy <coughs> against, and we'll take against the extension of the spring. So from here, that will be zero, and here uh, spring stretch 0 0.2 centimeters. Here, all energy at the top, when extension is zero, it's 0 0.196. And that will be the graph of the gravitational potential energy. It will be zero at the bottom when the extension of the spring is 0 0.2. kinetic energy
when extension is zero, object not moving. So its kinetic energy is zero. At 0 0.2, it has to be zero again. So graph of the kinetic energy is looks like this with a maximum at 0 0.1. And the elastic potential energy, strain potential energy, strain potential energy against x. When there is no extension, the strain potential energy equals zero. The biggest is at the bottom at 0 0.2. And obviously looking on the formula kx squared on 2, it has to be here 0 0.196. That will be parabola. That's all for today.